Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint. And today we're actually doing the update on our, um, on our apple tree that we actually pruned about a month ago. We were talking about the importance of summer pruning. And I wanted to show you the results of, um, of what we did when we actually pruned the very top of this plant. If you zoom in over here, you'll actually see you'll actually see that once we pruned it, it actually went into blossom, as you can see over here. Here's a flower and another flower and another flower. So you can take a look that actually went into bloom. So the entire plant's growing and we pruned it right over here on the top. Got little blossoms in the way. I'm gonna pluck it out of the way because there's no reason that it's going into bloom. It's actually too late in the season actually supporting the apple. So we actually pruned it here and we cut it at an angle, which is a good growing or a good cutting pruning technique to make sure that if there's any water that rests on the top that it actually um, brushes off the top. And then we've actually got the bud to my left and to your left that's actually now supporting this branch so that we can now pull away away from the center of the plant. And that's the reason we actually pruned it here was to encourage this bud to then grow away from the plant so that we actually have a vase shaped apple. As you can see, we're supporting one, two, and three branches supporting three different apple varieties. And let me show you what we're gonna do next. So over here, we've actually got three apple varieties. This one here is a red apple um, to, um, this, this branch over here is supporting a green and red variety and is actually supporting its first apple over here. So we're about a month away from actually enjoying apples off of this apple tree. And then our third apple is a Granny Smith apple, which is over here. And they've all been pruned fairly high off the ground. Usually um, the graft union is pretty low to the base of the plant, but these have actually grafted about two, almost a foot and a half to two feet off the ground. My first graft is over here in this, this area, and second graft over here, and the third graft is over here. And what we did is we actually took this product called Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint and we've actually painted the graft union and all of the exposed trunk area. And you can see that the plant is starting to grow bushy again um, and it's pretty much all in the shade, but we're gonna remove all of the um, sprouts that are happening and all of these suckers that are growing below the graft union. Otherwise, it'll take away from the energy and the nutrients that it's actually um, consuming and bringing out of the soil and putting them into these suckers instead of into my grafts and, and growing great apples um, for our family to enjoy. But if you take a look over here, this is the Ivory Organics product that we used. It's Ivory Organic, it's a three in one tree guard paint, and it says it's a natural tree trunk and branch barrier protection against damaging sunburn and insects and rodents for use on roses and fruits and nut trees and ornamental trees and shrubs. And it's a non-toxic, environmentally safe and organic paint that has oils in it that features So this product has um, oils in it that'll actually um, repel insects from actually getting into the bark, any wood boring insects such as termites and beetles, from actually getting in through the bark and into the center of the tree. What we're gonna do next is we're going to, and you'll notice that you know the bark is actually painted with the Ivory Organics white, so it's got a light coat on it. This was actually painted about six months ago. So it's starting to fade. It's an organic product, so it eventually breaks down and it's applied once a year. But what we're going to do next and what I want to share with you, since we've actually pruned the top, the plant's got a lot more energy that's now going into these suckers. So we've got to make sure we remove the suckers so that the plant's energy is going into the desired grafts and the um, desired branches so that our energy is going into the, um, into the right fruit. So now we're just going to remove these suckers. We're going to basically prune as close as we can to the to this, um, tree trunk so that the branches can actually heal over these suckers and you'll notice that I'll leave these suckers right on top of the soil for them to break down 
and go back into the soil and continue to enrich the soil. And here we go. Just a couple more to go. And Double checking it, and that's it. We're pretty much done. So all of the suckers that are below my graft unions, which are again where my hands are, right here, and right here, and right here, there's no more growth below this point. Even these leaves I'm actually removing because I want all of the plant's energy to be going into my grafts and into my fruit. So anyways, I wanted to show you again the results of actually grafting um, and as well as pruning your plants in summer. So you can actually see what we've created now is a branch that's gonna be lower because originally this branch was um, branching it around this height up here closer to five feet and we brought it down to about three feet so it matches the rest of the tree so this plant will now be growing in this zone over here while these branches will be growing in this zone and this will be growing in the front zone so we'll have three different varieties of apples that will be non-competing and we're using these stakes to actually pull these branches apart so that they all grow in their, in their different respective zones so I wanted to show you the things that you can actually accomplish in your garden I hope you found this video informative and if so be sure to like it. Most importantly, subscribe down below so you can be connected to all of the other Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard educational gardening videos. Thanks again for watching and happy gardening.